For this problem, we have our first ship, and we'll call it, and it's going to travel x, y. It starts at the origin, so that means it starts at 0, 0, this is our starting point, plus time in hours, and here is my velocity vector, 3, 4. 3, 4, that's my velocity vector. It represents the speed, which is the magnitude, and the direction, so a little bit over 3 and up 4. That is the direction that plane is going. Vector and, so direction and the speed makes the velocity. That's A part. So B part now, that's ship 1. B part, I'll switch to purple for the other boat. B part now, it starts 18 kilometers north of the port. Well, that's east, it hasn't gone east at all. And J is due north. Plus the time. And it has this particular velocity vector, 3 minus 5. And that's the second part, B. Now, show that after half an hour, the distance between the two ships is this. Well, after half an hour means that T is equal to 0 0.5. So I'm going to take T. So I'm going to take T equal to 0 0.5 and plug it into both vectors. So I get XY equals 0, 0, plus 0 0.5, 3, 4, which will be uh, 1.5 and 2. That's the position of the boat at, at a half hour afterwards. The other boat will be a 0, 18, plus 0 0.5 times 3 minus 5, which will be 1.5 and ooh, 18 minus 2.5 will be 15.5 alright so these are the positions of the two boats a half hour so if I want to find where they are let's think about what's going on here I'm going to draw a graph a rough graph here I know my first boat is going 3 4 it's following this path do, 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 do. A half hour, it's right here. The other boat, and this is the first boat, let me change that to blue. Here's the first boat going here, and it's roughly here at a half hour. The second boat is doing this kind of thing. It's going, starting at 18, it goes over 3 minus 5. It's doing this kind of a thing. And so eventually their paths will cross, but it's somewhere here. And so I want to find this distance. I'm looking for the distance. I could conceive that as a vector and look for the magnitude of that vector. So if I call this vector d, vector d will be this head minus this tail, which will be uh, 0 minus 13.5, or the positive value, going to go 15 minus the 15.5 minus the 2, which is 13.5, the magnitude of that vector, it's a straight line, is going to be just 13.5 kilometers. So it's been shown. Now D part says, show that the, the ships meet and find the time at which this happens. So this is where they meet, it's the intersection point. If I want to find the intersection point, that means I want to find it when the two lines are equal. So I'm going to make the X value so the x value and the x value would be the same. So 3t, so 0 plus 3t, has to equal to 0 plus 3t. 0 plus 3t. So I get 3t is equal to 3t. Well, 0 equals 0, so t is anything. Let's check with the y value. I have a feeling I'm going to get a t value here, because t can be anything. Let's see what the y value gets then. So I get 0 plus 4t equal to 18 minus 5t. 9t equals 18, and so t equals 2. So as they move across here, they're moving, the x values moves at the same rate, and it's just different vertical lines here. This is the distance. They meet here at t equal 2. So at what time does this happen? At t equal 2. That is the answer to d part. 
And then finally, we want to find how long after the ships meet are they 18 kilometers apart. So when, as they keep going, I keep getting this vector and this vector and so on. I want them to be 18 kilometers apart. So if I think about that, 18 kilometers apart, well, hmm, I want this distance vector to have a magnitude of 18. Well, if I look at my distance vector, I'm going to look at this vector here. It's this point, subtract this point, or this point, subtract this point. All these vectors on the on point. This is the general point 3, 4, or 3t, 4t. That's the point on this line down here. Let me move that. That's this point. Every point can be shown as that. And the other point, this point here is going to be 3t, 18 minus 5t. I'm going to subtract those. And I want to find the distance when t equals after 2. This would be 18. So if I subtract those to find that distance, I get 0. And then I get 4t minus... 18 minus 5t, which is then 0, uh, negative 18, plus 9t. Now, I want this magnitude to be 18. So I want the distance, the magnitude of this vector, which is going to be 0 squared, plus negative 18 plus 9t squared, which is simply negative 18 plus 9t. I want this to be equal to 18. Add the 18, I get 36. t is then equal to 4. So when time is 4, I know the vectors are going to be 18 kilometers apart.